The English Language Learning Service Unit provides a continuum of supports across our system to administrators as well as educators. Specifically, this video will highlight our targeted support provided to schools um, that have been identified through the ELL equity factor. This approach is very much a focused, systematic and explicit job embedded professional learning experience where the strategist works directly alongside the administration team and ELL champion team within a school. The essence of the model is about engaging our educators, seeing the strengths of our students and the diversity within the classroom and letting them feel confident in their abilities and using data to drive our next steps. Speaking about data, the data is indicating, as well as reflections, that the ELL strategist support model is having an impact on teaching practice, thus impacting our student achievement of our ELL learners, as well as benefiting all students within the classroom. The English Language Learning Department provides a variety of supports to our system through an RTI model. Our work can be categorized into three tiers. Our universal supports meet the needs of students and teachers. Our targeted supports are designed to meet the needs of students and teachers in unique contexts. Our specialized supports are personalized to the school development plans of our targeted schools and also includes area learning team referrals. For me, the biggest thing has been that working alongside schools through this model has provided opportunities for everyone involved to learn from each other and to collaborate. Um, it has encouraged each of us to challenge our understandings about language and to ask questions. And through these professional conversations, we've come to better understand the needs of our students, which in the end benefits what we're all working for, student learning and growth. We were doing a project once and I read like this whole paragraph during uh, but because I didn't have any focus questions, I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to understand because when I when I got asked a question in the end, I didn't know anything I was writing about. So I had to. So like these focus questions, I'm I'm, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask myself those, and I feel like those that's definitely gonna help me. Phase one of the strategist support model involves strategists working alongside target school administration teams to support instructional goals identified on school development plans. Furthermore, strategists provide an ELL lens on pieces such as resources, strategies, and measures. This phase also involves building capacity and understanding around the ESL benchmarks, language instruction, assessment, and differentiated programming. To support the model throughout the year, a team of teachers is identified to champion the work and foster sustainability. I would like to think that there's a body of evidence in our hallways, on our evidence panels, in our learning commons, in our staff room, our classrooms, by the language that teachers are using and, and uh, in our, certainly in our school development plan, that this model is, is alive in our school. And we're using this model to uh, really propel our learners forward and to develop English language learning at, a, at a, an optimal level for each student. One of the goals within the Huey Bennett School Development Plan is reading comprehension across all disciplines will improve. Within that goal, we've identified um, instructional strategies and actions, two of which are that teachers will develop a common language and explicitly teach reading comprehension strategies across the curriculum, as well as we dove into the ELL benchmarks and looked at specifically the reading linguistic vocabulary strand um, within the ELL benchmark. Mo supported the teachers throughout the learning sprint uh, process, focused on building vocabulary specifically for our ELL students, but effective for all students. He used a variety of techniques to support the teachers in the work, including modeling the teacher strategy, leading evidence informed conversations, and guiding uh, reflections on teacher practice. Promoting equity is one of our system's top priorities. The strategist support model effectively supported the diverse learners in our targeted schools. Analyzing evidence, co-designing tasks, and co-teaching allowed for the personalization of learning experiences for English language learners, but also benefited all of our learners in our classrooms. 
This process has built collective understanding and appreciation around evidence-based best practices and diverse needs of all of our learners. Phase two of the strategist support model involves co-planning, modeling, and coaching with teachers to analyze student data and determine the learning gaps. This phase also includes using assessment and knowledge of the ESL benchmarks to determine the next steps for all learners and results in designing tasks that support the language proficiency of students. Simon Breakspear's teaching sprints were used as a frame to guide the instructional iterative cycles. It helps me to become a better reader, to like to imagine things in my head and like I can learn how to read them too in books. That's right. So you did some visualizing here. What are you proud of in your visualizing? That I can that I can imagine things in my brain. The ELL support model promotes strategic collaboration between ELL strategists with administrators and teachers across our system. The work has been so intentional and personalized while being mindful of two key points. We may not be ELL teachers, but we are all teachers of ELL students, so it is definitely a shared responsibility. And number two, what's great for pedagogy for ELLs is also great for all learners. It really values each teacher's personal teaching style, yet meeting the instructional goal outlined in the STP to move student learning forward. Phase three of the strategist model involves working alongside teachers and administration to analyze current student data. During this time, students, teachers, and strategists reflect on the effectiveness of the implemented strategies. This helps identify learning gaps and determine next steps for the teaching sprints. This process gives us a clear picture of student progress since the start of the iterative cycle and next steps for student learning and the school development measures. But I'm finding it really beneficial to get back to thinking intentionally about it. What, what am I planning? How is it going to be delivered in the classroom and what are the benefits? Students who are English language learners are learning the universal language of math in a language through a language that is not their first um, language, really just engaging our learners in their way, the way that they're able to communicate and then advocate for what they need and understanding what they don't understand. It's to help um, my students connect with their reading and making connections with sentence frames and using those sentence frames to help us guide our talk time that we have when we're discussing our stories. Uh, I'm going to be more directly teaching vocabulary work, especially in relation to CTF, but also specifically building in examples from other discipline areas. Allow students talk time with each other about the vocabulary words or whatever we're, terms we're learning at the beginning of the lesson, and really to share background information and knowledge uh, off the bat, um, kind of get their brains thinking and their ideas flowing. An example of the impact of the support model from one Calgary high school was data that showed an increase in student achievement around strategic reading comprehension from a class average of 32% to 89% in figurative language understanding. Data such as this indicates that the support model is effective in moving forward the work of the school's SDP in targeted contexts.